Good evening. I'd like to call the October 2nd, 2023 meeting of the Hamden Board of Selectmen to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are in meeting in the Board of Selectmen office and broadcasting over Zoom. We are recording the meeting. Is there anyone else recording the meeting? Don't see anyone. Don, I have to say, watch the few of our meetings, and boy, I wish the owl would not focus when we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We're not looking good. <laughs> I'm surprised people keep viewing after that, like, oh. Lauren, I'm putting you in charge of looking for a better flag option. Okay. Okay. I think the leftover parade one. Well, you and I might have picked it up at the Fourth of July parade. We can do better. Mm -hmm. I think we can. Good. All right. All right, first order of business is minutes. We have September 18th. Dalton. Dalton, he's recording? Yes. Okay. Lauren, on the fiber optic part? Yep. Um, we would bond for the whole thing and it would start showing up on the tax rate. If we didn't have our target goal, okay, now fifty percent take rate. Mm -hmm. It's important that's noted in there. Okay, thanks. Maybe this will come up later, but uh, when we talk about it later, that special town meeting, the annual town meeting, the audio was not good. You know, we had yeah, we bad. needed to figure out a system for getting a, a microphone out to the audience, or really direct yes. them to come up to a mic. But that was something, you know, you and I watched the tape quite a bit, and it does put a strain on knowing what happened during it. So we should, uh, Bob, if you can work on that with the moderator, Eva, whatever it takes. If the school has some equipment available, extra mics, that'd be great. I noticed that uh, maybe the new well, setup you have Wilberham, in they not only had the new system that we have, Mm -hmm. But they were using a mic system, a separate mic system as well. And they, I was wondering if our old mic system might might work. Well, I'm wondering if you take the new system from the melt from the auditorium and put a couple of the pickup mics along the aisle, mm -hmm. people can then come to them. I have to say, watching the, uh, the last staff meeting, the audio pickup is impressive. Yes. You know, normally you wouldn't hear the people on, on the front wall. No, it's good. And they were it's good. no problem. Same thing with the planning board meeting. Everybody was audible. Right. So, so, I, so I think maybe bringing that system over. Just got to get that mic, that camera working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, it worked okay. You think it'll work better than the one we have? That spiral camera? Yeah. I know we're off topic from the minutes now, but uh, it needs the firmware needs to be updated for it to be able to work. From what I was using. So what were they using then as part of the Zoom thing? So it was the old camera, but the new mics? Where, during the staff meeting? Staff meeting plus I don't the think, I don't think the new camera sucked up. It's our old old camera. Our old That's right. Camera. It's, yeah. We're right. using so the new, old camera new and the new stuff. mics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Old camera and new mics. Okay. Sorry, off topic. So, but again, it does go relevant to, we talked about special town meeting. We got to make sure we're more, not the day of, but the week before. Please. Lauren, oh, on the town treasurer, and then the couple art, the couple notes there where motions were made. Mm -hmm. um, I think it might be important just to have who seconded it. Okay. Motion made by, you know, so I, I moved to endorse the treasurer's recommendations, and then it was seconded by, uh, I think, Selectman Davenport. Okay. And Thanks. all voted in favor. And I certainly know the adjourning motion was <coughs> yeah, Craig and Don. <coughs> That's boilerplate. You can put that in every time. <laughs> They take turns about who makes the motion. Mm -hmm. Other than those minor corrections, how are the minutes? I move approval of the September 18th minutes with the amendment corrections. Second. On favor? Aye. Aye. Good job, Lauren. Thank you. you should have a, uh, in your packet, you should have the, the tractor. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Mark Langone, the highway superintendent. Mark, how are you? Good, thank you. Well, we got through the summer, and now here we are in the fall. Yes, right. moving right along. 
Getting ready for snow already. <laughs> How's the salt shed? <laughs> Full. Good. Is it? Um, the bids did come through. I sent a note out. Mm -hmm. uh, They're less. I'm sorry. It was less per ton. About eight. I think it was eight dollars less a ton. Yeah, than last year. Yeah. And um, back to uh, a vendor that we've been very comfortable with and have mm -hmm. a, a great relationship with. So. I know it's a little preemptive, but I mean, you're doing the sand for seniors again, I assume, and all that. Yes. You will. I mean, it's going to come Absolutely. Out the fire department is doing it. Yeah. yeah, the fire department. But I mean, it's up in his area. Well, yeah, right absolutely. Yeah. yeah, whatever we can do to help. Yeah, because then that also will be open to residents to grab from, too. Mm -hmm. Here in the pile. Always have. Yeah. 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 All right. So, Mark, uh, we, have an we have an article on the special town meeting warrant for a new tractor. Mm hmm I mean, that old one, my gosh, it was barely 40 years old. Why is it failing? <laughs> it's a, it's a combination. It's a combination between the tractor and the sickle bar attachment. Mm -hmm. um, e either one's working and the other one isn't type thing. Um, we, and, and, and this has been going on for a couple of years. Uh, and we've been able to kind of piece things together, get it repaired. If I, you know, if I've got extra money, been able to get it repaired and, and kind of limp it through the year. But we're not keeping up on the on the roadside mowing as much as I'd I'd like to. So mm -hmm. it it kind of upsets me. I, I'd like to do a better job with that. Um, uh, the the sickle bar attachment. Um, I'm beginning to find that there are parts that we can't get for it, period. Mm -hmm. um, I've had companies do nationwide and worldwide searches for certain parts and they're just, they're just not out there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was able to get some, <clears throat> some parts through a company in Pennsylvania um, and we were going to kind of piece those together to try, mm -hmm. to, to try to get us through another year. Uh, and no sooner did we get that back together, we started having issues with the transmission um, in in the tractor. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, it's it's either one thing or another. It's been happening on and off for the last couple of years. Um, I think it was 2019, I I actually started putting the tractor on my radar um, on my five year mm -hmm. capital projection sheet, and I've kind of increased that number 10 percent every year mm. um and so 2023 we're at roughly i think it was 120 mm. and and change 20 last year would have been 109 and change so it's kind of kind of close with that but um it just <clears throat> it, it, it it's Broken. turning I'm sorry. It, it's turning okay. into an unreliable piece of equipment that. And know, I was joking. When I said 40 it, years, but how old is that truck? It's a '99, so 24. Yeah, yeah, so I think this goes back. Years, yeah. I think this goes back to Don when uh, my wife Lennis was chairman of Park and Rec. Mm -hmm. They actually got the old highway tractor at that time, and Dana went out. And this is the tractor they bought. Okay. When they moved the their tractor down, so 24 years, but they got their money out of it. So yeah. how is this one different? No sickle bar, they do it. Is it different now? So a it? little bit. Um, yeah, it, yes, yes, it is. So I, I brought a picture, um, and I can I can hand this over to them. But it's a it's a it's a Kubota, mm -hmm. but a little bit larger, enclosed cab with climate control. Mm -hmm. That way, there, this machine can be out in the rain, it can be out in the snow, it can be out in the 90, 90 degree mm -hmm. weather working. Um, the attachment. The attachment is really what I was after, and this attachment is made. It's called a Terrain King. It's made by Alamo Industrial. You've probably heard of that. Alamo, Alamo makes a, a variety of uh, uh, mowing attachments or whatever for for tractors. Um, they have the ex they have exclusive permission from Kubota to mount these implements on Kubota tractors. Uh, so is it similar to the flail you have on the other machine, or it, it's similar in that? And I'll and I'll give you the picture. It's similar in that it's the same concept. It's a instead of a sickle, mm -hmm. instead of a rotary, mm -hmm. it's it's a drum, 
and you'll see on the picture here. Those um, ones they use now that is like go down mm -hmm. to like brush hogs on Yes, mm -hmm. but this one will be, it comes in three sizes, a 60 inch, a 74 inch, and then a, I think an 80 inch. Mm -hmm. um, I had priced the middle of the line mm -hmm. one and I think I could probably save a little bit of money if we went with the, the five foot one. Mm -hmm. Plus it wouldn't put us so far out in the road. Right. The other reason was safety. Um, <laughs> safety and licenses mm -hmm. now when you get into uh, a tractor with a a, a boom a mowing mm -hmm. arm with a with a boom attachment now everybody who runs it has to go and get a uh, a special endorsement on their hoisters license which mm -hmm. i think it's a 4g i want all these guys to be able to run this thing even part-time even part-time help i mean mm -hmm. this it's it's easy it's very visible so when you're you know, you, you're not kind of turned watching an arm cut like mm -hmm. you might have seen in other, other towns. This one, mm -hmm. you've got great visibility. You're looking down kind of like this. You still can have one eye on the road, and it, it just kind of floats, and it does, um, yeah, so it's like a drum with teeth on it. Mm -hmm. It's articulating. And it, it does. It, it just raises up and down this mm -hmm. way, oh. and it does have a, a curb height. Pist, uh, adjustment height adjustment, mm -hmm. but it does not have like the over the guardrail boom or any, yeah, anything not like that. that much like the flail. It's Correct. Just more, okay. uh, but it's still the flail concept. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll just <clears throat> it's the one uh, that I circled. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And actually. Yeah. So you yeah. said. Oh, you said you said 120, but I thought we were at 108. No, I'm sorry. Uh, in my projection, in my five-year projection, it was I had it up to 120 this okay. this uh, this year. So between the 108 potential trading, perhaps, or selling the old for something, and then if you did drop down to the 60 inch, mm -hmm. would that drop another thousand or a couple I'm, thousand? Or yeah, at least, okay. at least. Um, I was actually very surprised at the the price of the attachment um yeah. <laughs> but when i heard what um a neighboring town has to replace their over the guardrail boom uh, mid-mount boom attachment mm -hmm. it was over a hundred thousand okay yeah so it's like all right well that doesn't sound so bad now, but on all the state roads half the time you see them out there with them. right yeah. i mean just everything is 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 expensive and mm -hmm. uh but um I feel like, you know, the other thing, too, is, uh, you know, with something like this, we, through time, um, in time, we can purchase other attachments for it, um, rear attachments, mm -hmm. um, whether it be, uh, I brought an example, like a, like, I would like to look at one of these, it's, it's like a, a, a buffalo blower doesn't have to be that model but mm. something like that would help out tremendously in the fall uh, on the leaves blowing up they make rear mounted snow blowers uh brooms like sweepers um so there are some of those <laughs> i think the big question is i don't think anyone doubts the fact that you need this you know okay yeah just like you needed a dump truck and things like that mm -hmm. the timing is kind of the question i think Craig's point at the last meeting that we need to be more flexible in how we respond and, and buy things. Right. And that's what these kind of meetings go to. Right. You and I talked about delivery being a big impact. I think we talked at our last meeting, similar to what we felt with the excavator a couple of years ago. <clears throat> Tell us about the delivery on a piece like this. So that's an excellent point too. Um, the tractor itself is about three to four months out once upon order um the actually implement uh the the flail attachment is uh six months out at mm -hmm. least um in which case they would probably just hold the tractor or just time it so that when they get everything in they'll they'll put it together so so i think we, either way well um, if we got it then at the special town meeting Technically, you can order it the day after, okay. uh, November 1st. Cool. You're projecting yeah. you might get it by May, complete. Maybe earlier, maybe a little later, but roughly six months out. Correct, yes. If we waited to the annual town meeting, which is in May, but effectively purchasing is July 1st, that would yeah. you would lose the whole year. Correct, you wouldn't get yes, that, I would. The things to the end of the and I, Yeah, and right. I... And you'd have yeah. to say, look, I'm going to have to go through all of 2024 with a tractor that may or may not work, 
or rent something or job and spend more money. And I did. And I think that was the argument. That you guys yeah, Don yeah, made that yeah. argument then, like it's just kind of productive um, to spend that kind of money. You're throwing it away rather than buying. Uh, a, a rental with a machine comparable um, is twenty five hundred a week. Hmm. Uh, so that's right. That could get pricey uh, over the yeah. course of a few okay. months. Right. Yeah. Over yeah. the course of the mowing season, right? Sure. sure. And yeah. I, you know, and I even like to do twenty-five I, grand. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. And of course, you know, we wouldn't. We, we, if we were renting, we would cut that season as short as possible. But oh, sure. typically, uh, you know, I, I'd like to to do two rounds. I do a round in starting in the mm -hmm. spring kind of cut everything back and then again in the fall before winter like to mm -hmm. just go through and at least hit the main roads and, and any problem areas mm -hmm. um, and that's what we've been doing now with the with the mini excavator with the flail attachment mm -hmm. is just kind of bouncing around um, <clears throat> hitting problem areas mm -hmm. areas with visibility issues or uh, you know uh, whatever and just trying to keep up that way but sure. that's not what we purchased that machine for. No, it isn't. Um, I have to say, driving around town, and I don't want to call out different roads, but I see roads that I'm like, oh my gosh, you definitely need to cut back on this, sure. where the stuff is overhanging onto the road. Yeah, absolutely. And I will say the worst case is probably across on Allen Street, across on St. Patrick's, on the right hand side of that <clears throat> bush comes out halfway into the lane. Allen Street? In, on, in Springfield, across oh, the street. Oh, 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 you know what I mean? <clears throat> Unless you're with St. Patrick's. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. yeah there's that the one is yeah. I just I you know, I think it looks nice. I think uh you know, if we can keep up with it and, mm -hmm. and that's what I plan on doing. Does and, this and have to be registered as a large machinery for rotors? I, I believe it does. Does our current tractor is it registered? It has plates. Okay. No, yes. So, be yeah. so it wouldn't be increasing the cost, you'd be flipping from one to the other. Correct. Okay. Um I just think and like I say, it was a good point being brought up. Be prepared to pretty much give the same. I don't want to call it an argument. It's not an argument. It's an explanation. Sure. This sure. is why we're doing it. Okay. I think the part you make about the fact that if we waited till the spring, we would lose the entire use of it next year. Right. And potentially paying the <clears throat> rental cost. That makes no sense to throw that money away. Right. Right. And for an item that last time you got shoot almost 25 years out of the track you got last time sure and i'm not saying this is this this much but mm -hmm. this isn't a frivolous purchase this is no, what you need to no, get the job done and and all the extras that we could potentially add to it in the future um to just to just out. help you can um however they are they are in the process of coming up with a uh, conversion kit to be able to mount certain front end mm -hmm. uh, attachments uh, they don't have it yet mm -hmm. um, they're not even sure if when, or when it happens it's not a matter of if but when it happens if it'll be retroactive so would this um, be the type of thing say we did that sidewalk project would this be the type of thing that would have a snowblower on the front and you could do because bob's saying that be five wise. foot now yeah yeah uh that I'll have to look into. The only problem is that oh, I, there is a front mounted, and this is this is the whole problem with with this mm -hmm. the front implements on these machines. Is there's a if you notice there's a front uh, hydraulic system, mm -hmm. your tank and your pumps. Oh, it's got a everything. block on the front and yeah. on the side. So, yeah. so that's why you wouldn't be able to put four. Um, I'm sorry, loader arms on it right now. Um, they're trying to redesign right. everything and okay. make a make a kit for it. Uh, um, we're just saying that type of thing, you know. However, Bob has made the point that at that kind of width, that seems like the, the right implement for it. I was uh, interested in one of these brush these brush uh, attachments mm -hmm. that are slanted. Yes, and you get down the sidewalk and it would brush brush the side brush the snow off the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Correct and. The only thing is they do make those in, in the rear mount snowblower and mm -hmm. and uh, brush. Mm -hmm. The only thing is you'd have to be kind of going backwards and having somebody spot you. But I think this tractor is mm -hmm. a little bit bigger than yeah. sidewalk right. size. Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know what? Um, if you could, 
Uh, Craig brought that up. Try and get those kind of pictures over to Bob. So if we wanted to throw them up on the screen during oh, sure. the Crestown meeting. Okay. They'd have them there. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe you know, a little live action the, shot. Do you want a video of it driving up and down the road? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Craig with the drone over his little of us waving out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Serious radio? What? Serious? Take it on, take it on the parades. <laughs> Yeah. You, think you, might get some, you might get some more Chapter 90 money. I didn't hear that yet. I didn't either, no, really. Was that going to be like another round of maybe the winter or no, no, this before is, winter? No, there's a yeah. bonding bill, and there's $25 million in it for towns that have less than 5,000 people oh. and have less than 500 people per square mile. We have 263 people per square mile, so we should be eligible for some money at some point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, where's our I'll, where's I'll our sidewalk money? How's that coming? Yeah, well, they, they did actually pass this bond bill, so <laughs> this one passed. Yeah. Hey, well, but, the last one passed too. The last one passed too. They just no, didn't, they, they didn't they fund it. That was all. Well, yeah. I just talked today to our our state aid engineer. They haven't even posted our allotments yet. Oh, they yeah. voted on it and it's yeah. been signed, but um, you're in the range of two fifty six. Yeah, something yeah, like that. yeah, around two fifty. Yeah. Oh, so talk about uh, so Wednesday you have another. Chapter in the Bridge Saga. Yes, and I think I did forward the invitation really? to anybody oh, yeah. that was interested yeah. mm -hmm. um, to meet out on Rocket Dundee Road <laughs> Bridge for. It didn't. The invitation didn't really say what what we were looking at, but I think it'd be a good. I'm definitely going to go and just kind of two yeah, o'clock Rocket Dundee yeah, Bridge. Yeah, yeah. So, Dalton, you want to be there again? I know you visited once. So I think tomorrow too. You're meeting with Family Carmody Road, Road yeah. at, at ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll be Is there that for the, that. Uh, that was the email Carmody? I poured about. Right? Yeah. Thank you. I took a ride over there over the weekend. And mm -hmm. The water's right on roadside edge. That's why I thought it's important. You know, you'd be there as well. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right. So well, eight back up in the eighties on Wednesday. Jeez. Oh. Open the pool. Back up. <laughs> Don't go crazy. I don't know. All right, anything so, more for us? Uh, I guess, I mean, if I can, I don't know how much time you have. I could maybe just update on the road road projects or anything else that you, you'd like me to you five update. Minutes. Five minutes. Okay, so uh, looking to have, um, I'd say, the majority of our, our road projects done this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we're currently replacing all the uh, catch basin tops on Hillside uh, Highland Circle and mm -hmm. Hillside Drive. Um, when that they've taken a beating throughout the years because when they when they put that de development in, mm -hmm. they use Cape Cod berm, but then they use regular eight inch um, backed yeah. Connecticut yeah. tops, mm -hmm. and um, you know all of them are either broken or, she or sheared off. And mm -hmm. I, I think this will give a, a better look. So what we've done is ordered. They make actual Cape Cod, Connecticut right. top mm -hmm. catch basin um, tops. So the plow will ride pretty much the whole way through. Sure, okay. sure. Um, so we're in the process of doing that. We're completing about two a day, which is which is good. Um, I'm hoping to have that done in time, but we may end up doing Highland and Hillside in the spring. Um, that's it's been. It's, and, the, and the weather hasn't I'm been sure helping. The rain hasn't been helpful. Um, but everything else is ready to go. I've been in contact with with our uh, contractor, mm -hmm. and he's ready to go and seems very easy to to work with. So I'm excited to to work and with. That's him. the new place, precise. Uh, precise, precise. Yeah. yeah, new to us. Um, they've been around for a while, but um, very highly recommended. Okay. Uh, they do excellent work, and. Um, yeah, I'm 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 excited to work with them. Okay, other yeah. projects you had South Ridge. South uh, Ridge, we had a section of Mountain Road, um, Isaac Bradway for a mill and pave, and then a section of North Road mm -hmm. as well. Um, and any of those this year, or are they all next year? No, I'm I'm, I'm hope they're all ready to go uh, this year. Mm -hmm. um, the only ones that aren't, are, unfortunately, are Hillside and Highland, um, because of the top, replacing the tops. Um, so they're just overlays. Overlays in in mills, a couple mills and 
a couple mm -hmm. overlays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, and I wasn't kidding about getting ready for winter. So we're going through the plows in our spare time and on rainy days. And okay, my quick thought when we talk about our projects. Yeah. The North Road. Yeah. When is that scheduled? Because I'm thinking about the two o'clock cluster, you know, out there. I, I don't have a, a scheduled date and time, but I will certainly take that into I gotta consideration. Say, you got to notify the school yeah. a week ahead of time. Okay, absolutely. Enough, that's going to really yeah, drop yeah, off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Drop off morning and afternoon. It's free. Yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't even want to say mid, mid can we restrict the construction time to after drop off and well, that's an excellent up. that's a good point so i i may even see if we've got a day off or something and the contractor doesn't and i, I don't know we'll, yeah, maybe it's cool that might be something yeah. sure i don't know i don't know the counter off yeah yeah you know, look for a professional staff day or something like that yeah okay they're yeah. still down there but usually there's half days like wednesday's a professional development day is a mm -hmm. half day okay um stop and see Columbus sharon day, but nobody works sharon might be able to help you with that yeah the principal, she's in principal. The, oh oh the print okay yeah. okay Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that could get messy. <laughs> yeah, I think bad enough with the road the way it is. And all of a sudden you got them paving the other half of it. And oh, like, yeah. Oh, I can't even think. That would be. I probably wouldn't do evening paving, right? Nighttime paving. You don't do that on here. I could ask. I don't know. I could ask. That would be an issue. There'd have road, to be yeah. some. some pretty dark road. Jeez. Yeah. I think and there, there'd, there'd have to be. a corner and along the school. And Mary yeah, we can on her driveway. Other than that, just uh, working on, on a couple of beaver issues in town. Mm -hmm. um, and um, like I said, getting ready for for snow season. OK. Yeah. Well, Don had asked about an update on the beaver thing. I think we'll know more after tomorrow. Yeah, I think yeah. Finn can come back next week and really okay. after right. you have your Finn little next week. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. And we've been so we've been also I've uh, been working with the trapper on um, mm -hmm. coming up with a plan for, for Glendale and Ridge. Mm -hmm. So um, aside from Carmody, that's that I'm aware of. Glendale, Glendale and Ridge are, is the only other mm -hmm. area that's affecting the, the town or the town infrastructure mm -hmm. anyway. Um, so um, decided mm -hmm. to wait until the season starts on that location. However, we're going to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, I spoke to him. We're going to move forward on an early start on Carmody Road just because of the circumstances. And I'd say so. one last thing that take a ride around town yesterday and we went up and down Chapin Road, which goes back to your cleaning thing because they have a heck of a ditch on yep. the uh, west side of the road. Correct. But going over the top and down the way, I think we went over three little bridges. Those are the hidden ones you talk about. Oh yeah. That people see, oh my gosh, yeah, there's Mill Road. There's Laughing Brook, mm -hmm. but all these little culverts They're that everywhere. are around, every, everything needs maintenance, you know, and you don't realize that here's, you know, 16 feet of guardrail, sure. but it represents there's a culvert over there that needs somebody to look at. Absolutely. Yeah. And we do, and we do look at them at least annually. Sure. Um, but we were up there not long ago, uh, cutting the banks of the, of the uh, drainage ditches. And um, while we were there, we, we checked out the, the culverts always, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And whenever we end up with rain like we did last week or something like that, you know, mm -hmm. we go out and kind of monitor catch basins, culverts, yeah. and stuff like that. You know, a good thing it might do, it might scour it through. It actually just do some cleaning. It does. It right. does help clean yeah. clean it out. As long as it doesn't erode the base underneath. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, we beat you up enough. I don't sure. No, that's fine. Thank any, you very any much. Any more questions, guys? No. Nope. John? See you later. Good to see you. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Mark. All right. He'll call you later. He's got That's all right. <laughs> thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. And we're back to the discussion on health coordinator. Uh, last we met, we had asked they have identification of the different roles, like the H or whichever. So you, Do we have, you should have uh, in your uh, packet. Yep. Uh, an update that uh, Jane and I put together, mm -hmm. which uh, labels in red uh, whether a particular function is Board of Health, mm -hmm. facilities. I also put in their operations when it's not facilities, like at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. um, and in doing that, on the second page too, what I notice is that most of the activities 
can be classified as BOH. Mm -hmm. And looking at what we have for budgets, looking at um, what we need to do before Jane leaves, uh, the only thing I think, think of that will work, given the constraints that we have, mm -hmm. would be to assign some of these functions to a permanent town administrator. You're going to have somebody for 35 or 40 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, some of that can be shifted. Well, I don't know any other way. Huh? A lot of the facility stuff, your operation mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, yeah operation stuff. Operation. Uh, mm -hmm. And then that person can't create two jobs at this point. That person can always delegate too. I can do yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. say. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we don't have the capacity to create two jobs. Right. We have mm -hmm. the person who has kind of had a, an accumulation of some functions over the mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how you recruit somebody to do the jobs that the uh, two or three different types of jobs that James mm -hmm. has been doing. I think you're just going to have to get somebody for a limited number of hours for the Board of Health and then at least temporarily assign some of these other functions to the administrator. Mm -hmm. I don't know of any other situation other than um, mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, hiring somebody, which is mm -hmm. not going to be feasible in time for Jane's retirement. Water District supports that, really, Board of Health or, or Operations Facility? Really? I mean, I can see it morphed there, but I really wouldn't have called a Board of Health. She does it, but I don't know. Yeah, she does the billing. Well, you think about it. Oh, yeah, but it's, it's a functional Board of Health. Yeah, well, like well testing and stuff like that. So that's, that's health related, you know. Mm -hmm. But so, um, I mean, Bob, she sets up a lot of those appointments and yeah. so forth. Mm -hmm. So, Bob, would you say, that, so what we're looking at here, would you, we're going to post for the Board of Health coordinator. So you would just post those Board of Health. Exists. Uh, we probably should go back over it carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, we did this uh, this afternoon, uh, but then if we're going to post, we should post for just Board of Health mm -hmm. functions. Mm -hmm. um, and I would adjust this and uh, see what we can do. Now, what about the emergency management stuff? A few things on here. I think uh, we could we could shift to some of that as well. Um, I think that goes back to the whole thing I've been saying is we need somebody dedicated to be the point person for emergency management. You know, you need that that one designee, whether that's the um, the POI or the point person or the, mm -hmm. the media resuscitation person. But somebody's got to be, you know, whether it's within the board of selectmen or mm -hmm. however we want to deal with that. But, we're, we're lacking that, so that that couldn't shift. Mm -hmm. Well, there's still some time available, but well, the next question is: so we have a job that's taking this much hours. You're saying here she was thirty nine hours. Now she's thirty five. I understand that, but the thirty five is reflective of this, which is. Oh, down throw a number there, eighty percent board of health and twenty percent other stuff. About that, yeah. So, but the reality is, I think, I think all of them, that more than thirty-five hours is being put in. So, do we keep the board of health at thirty-five hours? Because really, if you got somebody new who doesn't have the dedication that Jane has, they're going to need all that time to do the board of yeah, health. I think you do. So. I think, I think you, you do. do. When right. you look up the permitting, when you look up, you know, old plans, mm -hmm. people coming yeah. in. Asking for old plot plans mm -hmm. or septic designs. I mean, yeah. some of that stuff Jane knows just like that. Yeah. yeah. But you know, people, people are going to have to write learn through, all that stuff, right? Yeah, write through mm -hmm. files, search them. Yeah, I think you keep it at 35. And you just do it the board of health and then mm -hmm. figure out the other stuff later on. Right. Well, if you're all agreeable, we'll we'll get that done and get it out there. And uh, because there's going to be significant training. Yeah, I think the sooner we can get it out there, the sooner we can bring somebody on to shadow yeah. the responsibilities. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. exactly. 
the other right, so uh, we parsing this down then just board of health board stuff. health or anything that's a dual mm -hmm. like the last one board health yeah, yeah. okay really yeah. Yeah. yeah but um in, in, in talking about that mm -hmm. i really think at some point we should start talking about emergency management mm -hmm. yeah i think that's important mm -hmm. and the other thing in your packet is um proposal for executive search Right, I'm going to receive another one. Uh, the two public sector executive search firms that do most of the work in Massachusetts are Community Paradigm uh, and Collins. Aren't they the people that came to see us before? Collins? Yeah. 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 Collins also did the HR study. I know, it's just funny. Yeah. The two groups you had come in last time and you knew both of them sure. you know and they you saw the uh the list of places they've worked with they both had east lamento down because one hired yeah. uh the lady before mary yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. so it's i'm gonna say incestuous but they all get it us out there yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, there's a third firm that operates on the cape but uh, i don't know how practical that would be mm. So yeah, there's like, a fourth firm that operates out of New Hampshire, mm -hmm. but they don't do that much business in Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, prices have gone up. Mm -hmm. I, was bit, but I was a, a, a bit surprised at, yeah. at that. I mean, what some communities do, frankly, is that they do a search themselves, and if that fails, do a search for the firm. Mm -hmm. So are we waiting for the, the other to come in? The way it shakes out is this. If you advertised, uh, you get those who read and respond to ads. Mm -hmm. What the search firm will bring to you mm -hmm. is that they know who's who, who's looking to move, uh, who, you know, unhappy where they are, who's not getting renewed, who's this and who's that, mm -hmm. because they go to all the meetings of the Mass Municipal Association, they talk to people. And so they're able to do outreach for the town in addition to doing the advertising. And they also, uh, you'll notice when they read through this, they, they boast that they're able to do a good match. Yeah. They can see what their success rate is and matches that you're saying. So it, they do a good match and they'll also tell you how many of their recent uh, selections are still with the town? Right. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. And those are important. I mean, I think you want somebody who's going to be. A lot of the problems of municipalities can't be uh, resolved quickly. They, they, you need long-term efforts to right. deal with some of the problems. Well, I do like the fact they show their last five years here on page twenty-five. Yes. And yes. they said all recruitments listed were successfully completed, with two exceptions. Out of what are there? Shoot, 30, 40 yeah, right. on the page. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Well, with with this guy, uh, it's uh, Bernie Lynch, who is a retired town city uh, manager. Yeah. His last uh, position was he was a city manager in Lowell, mm. and then he went off and established this firm. Uh, I was in Beckett when he when wow. he was brought they in. Must be going good there. Yeah, just, and, sorry, uh, if we're looking at the uh, they didn't succeed in Fairhaven. The and we're reading the description there. One select board member had to recuse himself, and the other two each voted for a different finalists, resulting in one one vote until one board member was recalled by the voters. I mean, I don't think the biggest problem is missile management. <laughs> oh. I don't so, know if anybody wanted that yeah, job, yeah. right? His <laughs> first effort in Beckett failed. They didn't get any candidates that mm -hmm. the selectmen liked. Mm -hmm. He didn't just say, okay, I'm done. I've done what you wanted mm -hmm. me to do. I brought you the candidates and mm -hmm. you got to pay me more. No, he, he went back a second time and without an additional charge, went through the process again and found somebody who the selectmen uh, agreed to. You know, I, you know, I, I think Collins does very similar work. I mean, it's not. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, how much legwork is there for 12-5? Do you think it's, I mean, do they put all things that they go to every meeting? 
they have their their fingers in the community. What they'll do is they'll do a community profile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll they'll come and interview you and say, well, who are you looking for? Mm -hmm. What strengths are you looking for? Yeah. Uh, what does someone who takes over here have to know how to do? <clears throat> and and uh, then they write out a community uh, folder, basically, mm -hmm. uh, digitize it, and anyone who expresses an interest, they send it to. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the most of the work comes down to winnowing candidates and checking references. So they have the experience in vetting. And yes. Mm -hmm. and, and reference checking is really tough because everybody's afraid of being sued and so if i get a call for a reference for someone i've known mm -hmm. i don't say much no and, and so they have to know how to pull it out of you and i'm sure they've gotten calls from people who in jobs right now mm -hmm. you know hey bernie yeah. just to let you know if you get an inquiry from somebody you know exactly. no no not specifically but i'm interested yeah so they have a list of 10 to 12 names that are looking for they do new horizons yep they know so. they know who's who mm -hmm. and they know who's looking yep and or who's 12, unhappy or, you or said 12, who's five. gonna retire where and okay. what do you think the other one will be oh, i'm sure they all are. i kind of thought i kind of thought, thought that, uh, be lower. a bit higher than i've been accustomed to in the past but yeah. um, i have no idea i did talk with i called them last week mm -hmm. and uh didn't get uh a response. So I called Mary Icari, mm -hmm. who did our right. HR study, and said, "Plug me into the right person," and she did that. And so mm -hmm. we'll get something soon. What's okay. our funding source look like? Do we have enough in the budget for this, or is it going to put on a warrant? Well, we'd have enough in temp help. We've been having enough. We have enough in temp. Will that, will that handicap us though, if we want to, you know, hire somebody to come out early for board of health? Well, I think. If we decided to go ahead with increasing the administrator's salary, we'd have enough there. The question is, is it appropriate to take it from that line item? What Bob doesn't have. No, it's, it's not. Right. It's what, an expense. You what you don't have in your line item, we don't have a town administrator expense line. Correct. And we always like lump it in with selectman office yeah. expense. You know. Well, it could be put into selectman expense too. Mm -hmm. But it had a contract like this would have to come out of the expense section, not the salary section. Mm -hmm. funded at 15 in expense and 12 in temp help. So here we are five seconds away from closing the warrant do we <laughs> any grants Mr. Grantmeister? Not for this. <laughs> yeah I hate to throw it out there but ARPA can that be used? I, mean, I don't want to touch the know, You need that's every dollar. Yeah. It can be used, but you, you know, need every the dollar. water project, I think, is clearly yeah. the priority. So, mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Maybe we should craft another warrant article and, and because <clears throat> we're going we're to go to the town meeting and we're going to say we want $30,000 more for salary. Why do you want $30,000 more salary? Because we want 12500 for the town administrator search. Mm -hmm. You know what that's what we're doing so so and can we make listen, sense uh, can we add a, a line item there well to, i was just going to say do you want to divide that in half and say we're going to have 15 to salary and 15 for the search or <clears throat> well yeah but then but we'd have to we can set up the expense. an expense line item or put it into the, the selectman's line item for expenses you know, we could rather make it in the line that probably at the if it was the annual i would agree with you let's make a ton of your expense line right, right? But let's add it to our expense fund. Yeah. It yeah. is your expense. It's yeah, not no, the town yeah. administrator. Right, exactly. Right. Um, but do we need it to be a separate article? I've never really seen increases to two articles in the same motion, two line items in the same motion. You gotta probably make a separate article so they'll know what we're doing, right? Are we up to 20? 20, I think. No, I'm, no. how many articles do we have to go with? We're getting one? there. Mm -hmm. Nineteen and a half. Well, maybe we could maybe we can take off the two thousand dollars for the. Did we get an answer back on the uh, rifles? I know this is, we're a little ahead here, but yes. Uh, I spoke with uh, the accountant today, mm -hmm. 
and his recommendation is to take it from the police equipment budget and any shortfall we will cover at the end of the year. Okay, I agree with Don. This goes back to, and I had a brief conversation with the chief at the uh, event over the weekend. We got half the cruiser money from that detail fund. Yeah, yeah. So it, 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 this, well, I think when they sweep it every year, they don't. They, they couldn't don't. have had 30,000 if huh. they were sweeping on a yearly basis. Yeah. And that was two years ago or three? Two or three years ago. Maybe. So they've accumulated more since then, certainly enough to cover Honestly, all the rivals, even if it was the one that broke one yeah. or whatever and do. So, so <laughs> are we getting, so is the chief saying he's comfortable with Cliff's call and we're yes. taking off the warrant? In fact, I saw him today. We talked about it. Okay. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll replace that article with a yes. uh, increase in the expense line. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think we need no. to because we, we have now, to fund yeah. that. Now, we, let's not lock in a number because you don't know what the second quote's going to be. You know, you might say, oh, right. we're going to hear yes. from the second yeah. people, and they want 17. Yeah. And then we got to choose between them. Yeah. Right. Not that we couldn't do just 15 and say, we'll cover the shortfall. we got some money in there. You know, worst case, I would say right now we're looking at worst case 15. And if it goes over, I mean, there's still 15,000 yeah. in the yeah. account. How long is their proposal good for? Uh, we haven't discussed it. I got this <laughs> by way of email. I talked with him on the phone. Mm -hmm. And he sent it. I talked to him last week on the phone, and he sent it. It arrived. Mm -hmm. I saw it today. I guess. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So uh, Bob is reporting then that he got one firm back to him. He's waiting for the second back, and then we'll talk about it more next week. Hopefully, you'll have both for us. Yes, I will. I'm sure. Great. In fact, I I would anticipate. At the latest, we would get the uh, proposal because it's boilerplate stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, not drafting the thing from scratch. These two companies are probably having breakfast together every morning. <laughs> they all know each other. All right. All right. Anyone want to talk about the warrant? Yeah. Uh, well, on the warrant, uh, I mentioned <laughs> just for earlier that yeah. I added the two on that twelve five. It does say, you know, any advertising listing, unusual printing copies are going to go on top of this. So, I mean, you could look, probably look at a couple hundred dollars more or a thousand dollars, depending on mm -hmm. those paper ads. By the way, there are there's some negotiation that goes on, too. Right. I'm just and saying, think, you know, it's I disclosed think, here that. Yeah, the MMA ad yeah. uh, okay. would be. I was just saying, I'm looking at the, you know, when we had the, oh, the yeah, Republican, yeah. our, our, our yes. stuff in the Republican, it was pretty expensive for this. Yeah. It would be. Yeah. Uh, all those trees we cut down, we turn I don't know anyone who when you get the does this kind of work <laughs> yeah. who doesn't consult the ICMA website yeah. and the MMA mm -hmm. website. That, that's effectively more than print. That's where people mm -hmm. who are looking for jobs will consult. So. Yeah. Is this on the OneDrive or on LaserFish? Yes. Okay. Both? It is. Yes. Nice. And it could be, it would have been on his desk, but that thing is so clean according to the uh, pictures well, he showed. Actually, uh, it's not thing. as clean as I said it was. I told them that huh. I ex anticipate that it'll be this clean by the next time we meet. Well, that picture you showed in the staff meeting I know. was like, uh, it was, yeah, don't open was, the closet door. That was aspirational. Yeah. yeah uh, Trevor McGee, <laughs> don't open the closet before your time done. Yeah. All right, so we have the uh, warrant again. Uh, we have we covered these in depth last week. Is there any one specific you want to bring up, Don or Craig? No. Okay. I mean, and not the, I appreciate you know the motion part. These are projected motions. Yes. We're not worried about that at this point. This is not. This I mean, is more a question of articles. We will post a clean. Yeah, but it's more like an article. Kind okay, of so Article 4, I mean, you think we can't come up with 2000 bucks by the end of the year? I mean, we can't. What? Well, it's for, it's for $2,000. Right. But the price one was more than we think. Right. Yeah. So, but I'm just saying, you don't think we can come up with $2,000 by the end of the year? I'm sure we can transfer. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure that transfer, we can pull out yeah. a temp help. But I, but I mean, well, I, I I'm just... Saying, can we cover with a line to line transfer in May rather than yeah. you know asking for I, I, it's just such a small yeah. amount, I think it's kinda like I think yeah, right. I think you're right. Okay. 
You know? All right, take it off. Take it off. Okay. okay. Mark's brothers. Okay. You know that part? <laughs> All right. I don't look at that part. Animal control, we're going to kind of wait on Beaver Solutions there still, right? Yeah, gonna, there still might be more in there. Yeah. Okay, so you got a couple more. So Connie was in to flesh out. We have, Doug is still not scheduled when the uh, yeah. meeting is going to be, but right now we have. This one's silky too. Yeah, I'm saying, you know, where are you getting this paper? This is high, high, high weight. I didn't uh, have you wait paper. This was printed on the big machine. I, know. Is, I don't. I didn't put the paper in, so I'm I don't. I'm just telling you, I, we buy very good nice. paper for our stuff, and yeah. it's not this good. So, <laughs> so it doesn't make my hands feel dry. <laughs> that's what I like. All right, so that's what I like about. So we have we have two items right. here. One would uh, put, a, uh, put a fence uh, around, and the, the line second line one would there. rehabilitate the fire escape. Okay. What number is that? Where? Oh yeah, five. 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 Um, I will tell you, and I was a little, I'm going to look at this again. Why is this going to line 12.4? Isn't there an Academy Hall line? Yes. Well, I didn't know that, uh, who would, who would control the uh, project if it went to Academy Hall? I don't Hall. think it would go under select and expenses. I mean, I thought, isn't there Academy Hall maintenance? But you're going, but who controls that? Well, we approved the bills along with the historical, but I mean, it's all there for the purpose, but okay. I wouldn't put it on our expense. I'd put it under Academy Hall maintenance, both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so so Connie got, uh, got quotes for this already? I guess yes. yes. In those two handouts mm -hmm. that I gave you. Yeah. Um, kind of like the animal control thing. And I go to the same point that we can't, okay, it'll be a shortfall, but it's such a small amount, and Cliff is so good at finding a way to transfer. Oh, yeah. Um, especially since it really comes under the police budget, the one point something million, yeah. but they can't find $800. I would suggest the board we remove that article, too. What about the beaver still? Well, which one we have? Well, right now we're only asking for 800 what do you think? Uh, I didn't have the report yet from Finn. He's coming in next week. I thought I would make an adjustment in the amount based on How the number of deceivers that we have to put in. Yeah. Why don't we leave yeah. it in there? And if we choose not to yeah. take action you, on it, you can pull it out. Take no action. Right. Yeah, you could. Well, you could pull it out next week too mm -hmm. because you're not going to sign it tonight. So. Right. That's true. You know, the Minichog land uh, trust thing is still with town council. Yeah. Uh, okay. We've been through the tractor, uh, brush truck. Are we both, let me just say, we're both good with the, the land trust thing is what it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the yeah, second yeah. half of the other thing, and the tractor we're comfortable with now. Yeah. Tractor's brother. Well, right. Tweet fibs. No, I think it was a good explanation, Mark, that yeah, it yeah. brings that forward. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Especially yeah. delivery. Right. I'm going to back up a little bit and yeah. go back to the CPC articles. Yeah. I understand the fire escape. What's this fence for? Remember we took our thing in the, the entrance to the underneath thing. She wanted to put a fence along so people wouldn't fall yes. over the sides into the uh, yeah. where into those the stones are. The, where the stone the stones are. Basically. Okay. Which there's they have $3,300 for a couple of metal fences that cover off the There's the a little ledge. bit of an explanation in, yeah. in the, what she handed out. Sure. High quality fences. Yeah. 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 Now I will say, Not at the point that you know, heck, I lived next to our academy hall, uh, our first house in town. But You've never fallen off that ledge. Nobody ever has. <laughs> it's only like what two and a half feet though. It's, uh, no, at the no, I mean it's a full height of the yeah. door. Yeah. yeah. So if you're close to the building, it's eight to ten feet. Yeah. So. Okay. I mean, look, there are people that drive over little embankments all the time. That's right. Okay, went over the, yeah. okay, went over the dump. I uh, like, yeah, yeah. Maybe need a fence. The funny really part is, the first turn right part, now. The funny part is, they way. tell me, yeah, the last time he did it, we just lifted them off, but we yeah. couldn't this time. <laughs> it was yeah. wedged on there pretty good. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, brush truck. You spelled the parking wrong, Bob. What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on the spell check. All right. All right. So, do we want to ask the chief to come in and review our presentation? 
Well, I got a couple of questions. About I know you got some. You're, you got some detail from Lauren today. Well, 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 part of the paperwork backup. Yeah, I got some paperwork. But here's here's the issue that I think we need to resolve. The grant was given to the Hamlin Volunteer Fire Department Incorporated, which is a separate private organization apart mm -hmm. from the town. It wasn't mm -hmm. given to the town. But that's what they gave it to us then. We bought that truck, gosh, it was 12 years ago, Mike. We got a nice check from the government. Richie even came and brought us the fake check thing. It was also given it to It went to the hand the, the volunteer fire department yeah. corporate. Yeah. So how did the town get the thing? Did the Hamden volunteer fire department give it to the town or donate it? That's or? a good question. But so again, that's like giving it to the, the friends of Oh. And then trying to disperse the money from there. I would imagine every. We should go back. I'd like to see. Appreciate this. Go back to the last couple of FEMA grants. This is not our first one, and see how they dispersed it in the past. Because it might be a bit of a paperwork struggle to get this. This is what the, I mean. The I check like, from here to here. Yeah. You know, if if they buy the truck and they send it to. I don't, I, want to, I don't know how we, they buy the truck. Do they just send the bill to FEMA, or do does, do we buy the, does the town buy the truck and then do we get reimbursed? It, we well, we did ask yeah. him about that. Are we going to be reimbursed or whatever? Yeah. And I thought he said no. It goes whatever. We, like I said, research the last couple of FEMA ones. I'm yeah, pretty how, sure there was something was on that. that. Yeah. yeah. But I am concerned about. I don't want to be like the state where it doesn't pay us for a year and a half. Yeah, well, I'm concerned. It's 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 to this private, you know, quote private organization, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't want to screw up the paperwork and not get the truck. Right, right. We can't afford to paint it. Because yeah, if the town buys the truck, money's coming from the town account. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, but they did say last time they wasn't. I thought they said they wrote the check, their part of the check, and we weren't fronting the money. FEMA. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the town is so responsible you, for the difference. Which, if they're going to pay the base directly, then we don't care what right. organization technically got the money. So you never if they're remember. Writing the truck, if they're writing their part of the check directly to, I remember the name, Bulldog, <laughs> Bulldog or whatever the company okay, is. Okay, but, then, Firefighter but then let's, let's say they write the check to, to the company Hamlin a. volunteer. Write the, write the check, they write the check right to the company on behalf mm -hmm. of the Hamlin volunteer fire department corporate. Mm -hmm. Do they own the truck? They purchased the truck. Do they own it? Do they didn't have to donate it to the town, or do we buy it for a buck, or do we? You ever remember, John, uh, them presenting a check to the board of selectmen and accepting the gift from the volunteer fire? Not from the fire department. Like I said, we had a uh, one type of thing where, oh gosh, like I said, Richie came with one of those four foot checks, and we had a big presentation up at the fire station and stuff like that. I mean, that's how yeah. Parks and Rec does it. Right. And so they got their, their mower was through. And, and I also make the point where the Parks and Rec got their mower how? I'm trying to remember. It was, oh, maybe it was the mower. It was something else where Raw raised the money and then donated it to Parks and Rec. I think is how it worked, right? Which is fine. Mm. Which makes sense, yeah. right? Just trying to. So we had to follow but something like that. It also might be, okay, I'm company A. You come to me and say, hey, I want to buy this thing here. <clears throat> that company is not going to care, per se. Well, they get the money. For, right, exactly. Yeah, right. You know, four guys named Vito show up with bags, right. like, hey, Don's still getting the car. So it might not be, that might not be a thing. So where's the title going is kind of the question. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it, like, we'll research how we've done in the past, and I think that's how it works. Um, but do we want to ask them to, just like we had Mark in, Let's yeah. lock down the presentation thing if they have yeah, time next yeah, week. I like this. Maybe they have the answer to this. I don't know. Could be. Well, you know. I mean, obviously, we'll see the same thing the night of the. Uh, um, I mean, no, the advisory hearing. Oh, right. The practice right. then. That is another question. And the advisory hearing is the week before. All right. I was hoping to go to the minute the Wolverham okay. town meeting. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> But that'll be the same time, and they only have five articles. Okay. The other the other issue I have <laughs> with that is line fifty three point four. Why are we putting in a budget? Oh no. That well, line fifty three point four is 
equipment budget. And the chief told me that that's only for yeah. uh, uh, turnout gear. Right, for a thing like this, we would not, this is a warrant article, just that special warrant line. Like we bought the dump truck, like when we buy the extra cruiser, not the regular cruiser. I mean, this is just a warrant article. Well, I can appreciate that the chief would say that, you know, that's only for turnout equipment, but I thought at the last meeting we wanted to make sure we had line item references. We do, for regular, for regular yeah. things, but yeah. this would be such an extraordinary expense, it would skew yeah. the, the numbers. Skew right. the budget, yeah. 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 <clears throat> It'd be like putting the dump truck yeah. in March budget. Yeah. And then, He'd then the You'd like it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm familiar with that. And the challenge is next year <laughs> you gotta go back back to that budget and right. pull out right. those things that have been mm -hmm. added in. So and the other thing is we that the wording is it says as the local match, but it's not the local match. The local match was ten thousand nine hundred and sixty two. Right. So this has to be worded some way additional equipment or additional accoutrements or for the purchase of a brush truck basically basically it's of one for the purchase of a brush truck comma of which 29 219 dot blah blah was funded by a fema grant and <coughs> ten thousand by time meeting town meeting action in may 2023 yeah, yeah. Something like that. Put the whole thing in there. And those three things together add up to, yeah. boom, the cost of the truck. <clears throat> the other thing I want to ask. Like, you go back to your point. The 10000 we passed in May mm -hmm. was not a line item. It was just a match. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So we got to figure out this yeah. about the. Sorry, it'll look like the train left again. <laughs> okay. right. That's where we're going. Later is what we got. Police department rifles were taken out. Yes. Hmm. Uh, February, the, the ADs were staying in. What are you going to do? Got to get them. Yeah, so Article 11 hmm. goes out. All right, ten is in, one out. Master plan. Master plan. Well, I know it's a subject of controversy, but the planning board voted to ask for it to be on the warrant. Yeah. So they did their work. Yeah. Um, I would say again, this goes back to, and I appreciate your point about the line items. This would not be a line item. Okay. I'm gonna hear a report. Great. Okay, uh, so the pilot thing, the pilot thing, do we have to rescind our previous vote? The 2020 that we took? No, we're still authorized. We're just not going to execute it. Yeah. It didn't require us to. It just no. authorized it. Right. So, uh, you know, yeah, we're still I don't think we have to do it. Not no. it. Yeah. And this is because, did the did assessor want this? Or you, the, well, the company is going to use Chapter 5 instead because they changed the. They changed the law. Yeah. As well, all, the law changed about the, the, has, right, to be the done, law changed. has to be done by January 1st, or else right, we won't get right. on the taxes. Right. Has Rose vetted it? Make sure it's. Yes. I know the law changed, right. but. Yes. Right. She has it. Okay. Mm -hmm. She but, has actually looked over this yeah. and doesn't have any concerns. Okay. So if we don't. But we need to get it done. If we don't do it, we won't be able to tax it. That's right. We need to get it done before right. January right. 1st. Right. My concern is if we'll yeah. vote against it, thinking that we're installing more solar somewhere. Yeah. No. Which we won't be able to tax what we currently have. Right. And then we have our four school capital requests, which we covered last week, and it's not much, nothing new happened on that, and it's, yes. it is what it is. What's the most expensive one is the uh, boiler. Well, right? If uh, Wilbraham rejects one or two, it's moot for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to pass over. Right. Well, those four are moot. I mean, yeah. yeah. If they pass one also, and three, we'd have to pass one and three, right? right? Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. And of course, we pass opposite. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Then we have yeah. problems. No, nothing passes. Right. Um, I did talk to the assessors today. They're not close on where we are. I know you had a, you know, Cliff also said the same thing. Yeah. They're still getting the numbers together for new growth, things like yeah. that. And, uh, he yeah. said that it's, I, I saw him today as well. He came in and. He said he's, he thinks that we're going to have an estimate of the tax rate 
relative is who? Yeah. So well, at the end of the month. All right. So having seen that, we so what we have done then is we have removed two. I don't think we really need motions per se. No, we don't move things. But no, you don't have to do no. it. So we are leaving on the animal because we're going to take a motion to close right, the article. Right. We're going to leave animal control on. We're going to drop number four, and we're going to drop number eleven. Correct. Okay. All right. So with those changes, uh, could I have a motion to close the special town meeting warrant? Go so move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Mary. Next on the hot list. Don is going to update us on his strategy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Basically, uh, the planning committee met. We're going to be meeting again on the 17th, I believe. Uh, the superintendent presented a the results of the survey that was done, and that's available through the school committee if you want anyone else to get that. I couldn't understand part of the uh, talk on the, the YouTube thing. The survey was done how? The survey was done, uh, it was sent out to the parents. Just parents, okay. And it was on the, uh, it was on their website too. We could do that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. All right. So, and. Do you uh, think? To that point, do you think the people being surveyed was, was skewed a bit towards mostly parents? Yeah, they yeah. should have been. I think yeah, this was, was the point of this one, right? Yeah. Was this one I used to for that? Yeah, or something yeah I think that was, that was the point of it. All right. You know, and uh, there's some interesting findings. Like, you know, it, uh, I think the most interesting finding is that most of the people aren't opposed to changing the regional agreement in some way. You know, so that's the big thing. They don't quite have, can't quite agree on what op options, and so basically, what's going to happen is they they thought maybe they will the school when it goes to the school committee, the school committee will just have one make a decision, and mm -hmm. that'll be the decision that will be voted on. So I did we, notice, though. I don't mean to interrupt. You, I'm sorry. Okay. When you I'm looking at the survey, you yep. had sent us that. You know, you can definitely see the you know it was favored heavily in Wilbraham side just because of the population that right, right. took the survey. But I think if you look at that same percentage of what choice they liked, it, it followed that same percentage. So, in both towns. Yeah. In both so, towns, yeah. so, Don, is it, they're saying, okay, if 8th goes to Minichog, you then have a choice about 6th, 7th at either this place or that place. Right. That's basically right. where you're at. Yeah. And yeah. potentially closing one lower hand score, or that's pretty much yeah. already, you're leaning that way already. Wasn't there Potentially closing hill? one room will be in school or you know, or Thornton the Bird, just mm -hmm. depending on how it goes. Yeah. And also there's was considerable of, of moving the entire pre K mm -hmm. to uh Green Meadows. That's the Wilbraham kids too. And the Wilbraham parents were initially that surveyed were initially opposed to a half day, but if it was full day they were comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. I think um, that was the big thing we found during the strategic planning sessions that mm -hmm. most of the parents wanted full day pre K. Yeah, and, yes. and I think if that was the case, I mean, they don't want to keep traveling back and forth for a half day, like you're saying, but yeah. the full day, yeah. Yeah, I think it'd make a big difference. It'd make a big difference for a lot of people. Yeah. The other thing we went over was that they submitted the current agreement to the uh, mm -hmm. Department of uh, Elementary and Secondary Education, and they made some recommendations that <laughs> yeah, all yeah. The little bullet points here. Yeah, oh my gosh. Bullet points. But most 40, of, 40 most, minutes of that. Yeah, but most of them are just technical changes because mm -hmm. of the new laws and, mm -hmm. and wording and stuff like that. They made no it. right. They made no decision of whether you should go to eighth. You know what to do I, with the schools. Well, I did. Yeah, but there was a conversation again, tough to pick up about the composition of the school committee. And I was right. You know, that's pretty much state law. We right now, and people have talked yeah. about this. The two options you have are either by representation by population or district wide elections, right, right. which would to me not be good for Hamden. Right. Because we're so over Right. And but the state law is that uh they you're supposed to review the Mm -hmm. Populations, the difference, and see if there's any change every five years. Right. They don't. They don't expect it to be any changes, so it'd mm -hmm. still be five and two. Um, I 
to say, unfortunately, I think because if you win district wide with elections, oh, no, we you have a chance of 7 0. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. For all and, the population. Right. And then uh, the, the other thing that they found out is that they've been electing their chairman wrong all these years. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> years. Years. It's supposed yeah. to be by ballot. Yeah. They secret, do it. They by do written it. ballot. Oh, right? a secret yeah. ballot. Yeah. <laughs> they do it, you know, like we do. You raise yeah. your hand, you know. So they're going through all those. Um, and their town council is looking at those as well. Uh, that would be the school committee council. So that's mm -hmm. kind of the update. We're going to be on the 17th. Then there was a big discussion about when this can get done. Yeah. And they thought that by that everything would have to be done by January 1st mm -hmm. to have it for September of 2024. And I said, I, you know, you, you, we're having a special town meeting in a month. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking November. We can't fit another special town meeting in on a subject like this during the holidays. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I've persuaded them that they really need to go to the annual town meeting where there's more people and then I looked up the last time we had a second special town meeting was Minotron. And we had a February town meeting at one point to talk just Minotron. Right, yeah. And I think that was even when we talked about the overflow in the gym. We we're going to have like at Park yeah, Burgess, yeah, the yeah. whole thing. And it was, so, but it's pretty unusual you have a second. Yeah. And so, so I don't, again, but do you think that would help your timeline though if you did in the. Uh, that's what my question early, is. Yeah. If we go in, if we go in annual town meeting, is that enough time? Right. Well, that, if, you do it, you if you do an annual town meeting, they can't get it done by right. September 2024. Okay. Because so, they, because, you know, they say, because then we're precluded until we decide we can't hire people right. for moving, contracting, do any construction we need to do, and some of the. Rules. So is February out of sight? No, I think the school committee might decide to do that okay. anyhow. But that would give you enough time on the. But they got to, but they got to know the, you know, the the, 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 the downside, and you know, mm -hmm. you know, you want to get. I think something like this would fill the hall, but well, you know. right now they're reading the tea leaves and yeah. get a sense of yeah. Yeah. yeah, So that's where we stand. So we're meeting again the seventeenth, and we're yeah. going to push mm -hmm. this off the school committee pretty soon. So. Oh, and the and then a group of them are going to. Uh, <laughs> visit schools on the Cape. There's three high schools on the Cape that have eighth grade with the 12th grade. Yeah, um, Superintendent Provost was talking about yeah, that. Yeah, Barnstable, Dennis, and, um, and the one in Harwich hmm. have, 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 the, have had the eighth grade with the 12th graders for years. So. That guy from the retirement board has a place there you can stay. You can stay at his house. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a call. I'm sure he'll take your call. You guys are best friends, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that's what they're up to. That's the update on that one. Great. Okay. Thank you, Don. Right. EV charging update. Okay. Uh, here are the potential sites. Uh, senior Center. Police Department. I did talk to Mark briefly about that green space in between the Police Department and the senior center, we agreed that that's not going to be practical. <clears throat> and something I think has changed recently. There are enough cars around now that these charging uh, stations sometimes are completely filled. For the first time I was running around a lot last week, for the first time ever, I went up to the level three chargers uh, off Memorial Drive in Chicopee. Not only were the four ports uh, used, mm -hmm. two cars were waiting in line. Mm -hmm. And so I think in thinking of a place to, to do this, we have to think that eventually you may have a couple of cars that want to sit and wait in line. Mm -hmm. And certainly that green space that I thought might work will not work because mm -hmm. you, don't want the, you don't want cars stacked up along Summers Road. I also talked to uh, the owners at Mountain View, mm. and they're going to give me a response. I talked to, to uh, Billy, and I, he said, let me talk to my wife, and we'll talk it over. Mm -hmm. She called me later on and said, we're going to think this over and get back to you. So we don't have a definite site, but my guess is it, it's going to come down to either the senior center or Mountain View. Well, can we, the, what about the mini mall? Well, uh, in discussions w there, uh, I think the one place that would make sense would be between <clears throat> the restaurant, La Cocina, and Summers Road. 
you know, around the back, there are spaces there. Uh, it would be less disruptive. Where? Between the restaurants yeah. and the road. The parking wraps around. Wraps around, and there are spaces <clears throat> that are rarely occupied <clears throat> behind there. And La Catina? Yes. Yes. I went back there and took a look. I thought it would be a good location. Uh, it would not disrupt parking in the main part of the lot. Near the bar I, the entrance, right? I've never seen... What's that? Near the entrance empty. of the bar. The I, kitchen side or the bar side? I've never seen... I don't seen know where the entrance of the bar is. So, it's on Allen Street. Uh, yes. And all the cars lined up along the front there. I've never seen that empty. Well, it would that's be... That's usually where it floods, It too. would be the entrance where the entrance to the bar is. Mm. And, the, I mean, the, the attraction there is that they could be seen from the highway. But, I don't know. Uh, I was the, every time better I better discussed that. at the uh, store across the, you know, they could walk that mini mall from there. And well, I was, I was thinking about the, in, in the mini mall, if you go past the Dunkin' Donut drive and drive it through, there's a, like where a parking area where the employees park and stuff like that. Park the right place. near the septic. Where, where the yeah, septic. Well, they, yeah, they just yeah. paved over last year, yeah. or two years ago. Mm. That's that would be saying. prime back there, I think. But it also goes back to my point before. You need to check that with Wendell in terms of, like, they have a parking usage. And if you're going to restrict parking by having some dedicated spaces, you may throw off the equation for the businesses because there's a use thing. Yes. And that was why I suggested, hey, yeah. look, if you use the ones on, in mm -hmm. Mountain View, they still have access to the mall yeah. I don't, by I just walking don't across that. I don't get the Mountain View one. I don't think there's any room in there for that. Half the year, there is tons of room. But when, when it's busy during the summer, you can't get in there. Mm -hmm. We also can't was, get in the mini mall at some point. That's why did we call I mean, the church? <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. If, you, if we do the church, I, we'd have to uh, check with tech council to see if we have any... Church, the church, state, state yeah, first yeah, amendment issues, spending money on church-owned property. Mm -hmm. What about yeah. Redeker? Did we, we contact the back corner of Redeker? Was... I did contact him also. Yeah. And I, I left a voice message. Okay. He mm -hmm. has not called me back. So that might that might be the best place. Uh, that depends on the conversation we're going to have. Right. Can we? But will we be able to get the incentives, the free money, if we go on to? Uh, yes, not it's, town land. Not town land. It's changed. Okay. It used to be the rule was you had to you had to put it on public property. Mm -hmm. Not now. Mm -hmm. No, I've checked. It. I've checked on that. We can put it someplace that is not public property. Mm -hmm. uh, Redeker. The only disadvantage of Redeker is he's got plenty of room. Um, I, I doubt that that parking lot ever fills up. I drove in there to take a look at it. I think it would work really well. You wouldn't see it from the highway, but what happens now is that you, you, you can plug in chargers and they'll take you, and the GPS will take you right in there. So here's another thought. What about Garish Park? Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I see some cars there rarely yeah. driving down Main Street. Mm -hmm. But you have two spots on either side. I mean, yeah. I don't know, would it encourage somebody to come in, park, sit down, read a book for a little while? Mm -hmm. well, and then that's town of the Go fishing, go hiking on trails, yeah. hike Camden. Well, yeah. what, what? The other parking lot that's never full is the hardware store. Right. Yeah. And then they could park there, walk down to the park. Mm -hmm. till, till, well, we're till also talking time. about availability of, of electric, too. Right. I think Main Street, I mean, that's where the line should be coming down from because they have to pay for the interconnect. So where's this, the line coming from the solar field? Yeah. That's when they upgrade. They put three phase yeah. down. So here's another thought. What about Cumbies? If we can talk about CPC funding for taking possession, we're not using it for anything other than parking. We won't need SEPTA. I think it would be a great idea, but we have to act relatively right. soon. Or, or the money will go to somebody yeah, else. Right. You know, um, really? uh, Well, let me ask you this. I know they've got it for sale. How much are they asking for Cumberland Farms? 
You had a realtor sign on. What are they asking? Uh, Wendell said you can get it for a buck. I understand. Well, you, My point is that, yeah. like Craig makes a good point, but the, the charging station is going to be a revenue generator. Right. Yeah. Say they're asking, you know, shoot, they're trying to give it away for $10,000. Yeah. Who knows, whatever. Yeah. Great. You're going to make money on that. You bought it for the Hamden charging station place. And you're funding it basically through revenues from charging. And then you can still walk down to the library. You could walk right, down to the right. like, park and stuff like that. Yeah. You can go hiking. Right. Yeah, what I liked about the, you know, like senior center or police, you could get, you get some, some revenue over and above any kind of maintenance expenses, and you could dedicate it to some kind of program. No, well, I do like Craig's thought about Cumbies because, I mean, the uh, park is right there. You know, Main Street's about the best walking area. I see plenty of people walking. Yeah, these, you, know, you have access to a restaurant that's mm -hmm. right on the sidewalk yep. path. Right. Yes, well, yeah. see, that one of the patterns that seems to be emerging, Big Y, for example, although not the one in Long Meadow and not the one, uh, not the other one, mm -hmm. um, is that uh, businesses that uh, cater to the public, like grocery stores, are putting in these chargers as an incentive to come in, park your car, put plug it in the charger, and go in and shop. And your tend the tendency would be to stay longer. Maybe it's our revitalization of Main Street. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think we'd have to act quickly on on. Well, I'll check it out. I mean, yeah, I it's also also seems very cool. interesting. Yeah, right. But, like I say, you know, no, we just closed the warrant, but for CPC funding. Uh, can we open? Oh, can we open it? <laughs> it's actually pretty rare we put the actual yeah. things in CPC in the warrant. Basically, you shall hear, you know, motion or whatever. All right. Uh, yeah, find, would, I hate to say, find you, out what they, like, you'll hear back from Redeker. Yes. Find out what. I'm going to hear Cohen's, back from Mountain View. Mountain View um, here. And we can check into Garage Park and, and come to. I think, so. let's, I think we should prioritize that Cumberland Farm idea because. Would we. Do you anticipate we'd have to do the demo first? No. I mean, the question is how where they're going to house, you know, the equipment or whatever. I, I mean, you're only talking to it. Would be closer to the to the main street than it would be mm -hmm. towards the back. You wouldn't have to do the demo. I mean, you only got spaces. What did you say? Is it six charging four. stations or four? There'd be two stations of two. Each station would have two ports each. So it's four. Yes, you can so easily it would four be the equivalent of four parking spaces. Right, so you don't need to take the building down and fit four cars. No, right. yeah. no. Okay. And that's just that I sort of get rid of the building and yeah. clean it up a little yeah. bit. Oh, I understand, but I yeah. mean, uh, right now. Wasn't, I thought there was a plan a while ago to somebody have volunteered to demolish that building. Well, that's the thing. When Rick and his committee, yes. they had Charlie Armet, I believe, well, volunteered yeah. to take yeah. the building down. And they even had a, a plan for a little bridge over the Scantic, right? Mm. That surprised me. <laughs> yeah. With, with all the luck we have with Bridges later, that would go that easy. Hmm. Well, that's <clears throat> okay. Eat yeah. that to death. Don, you had a, a policy you wanted to bring forward. Yeah, the for filling vacancies, elect the boards of commission. Mm -hmm. You know, so basically, just follows what the law is. Um, First part is for notification. You know, it has to be written mm -hmm. notification to the to the, to the uh, town clerk who notifies the the board and thing. And the other one is outlined in sex, chapter forty one, section eleven. And this is prompted by you know a necessity to have to cancel last week. Really, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so this is it to look at. We can discuss it next time. We give it time to look it over. Yeah, the only one I don't. I quickly looked at it. <coughs> The chapter 41, section 11, but it really doesn't say the board selectman does the stuff. The board selectman calls the meeting, and you made a good point about that, that we should host the, me the joint meeting yeah. and things like that. But when I did talk to uh, town administrators in a couple other towns, they typically allow the boards to do the notification of a vacancy yeah. and right. encourage people to apply to those boards. So it's like... Rather than going to select, and then they forward it to that board. They just go straight to the board and say, "Hey, I'd like to be on the library committee. I'd like to be on the the selected committee." And then we can have a discussion about the interview process and stuff like that. After that, and I know you've got concerns about, you know, how that's handled. 
So let's uh, put this back on for next week, yep. and we'll read this over and do some research. Great. Uh, correspondence. Lauren, did you get any mail this week? No. Nope. All right, then. <clears throat> the selectman reports. Don, you reported on the did planning already. Craig, yeah. anything on fiber or water at this point? Um, I haven't heard anything on water. John, got anything to add about water district stuff? Okay. Like there's nothing new. You know, the new installation, everything's great. Everything's fine. We're just still waiting for Ty and Bond to give us a 50% 50, 50 report. Mm -hmm. Then um, we are meeting tomorrow with Ben, as mentioned earlier, with the okay. Inspector Beaver and the Beaver Solutions. Excellent. Um, are you doing site visits? Well, we're meeting on Carmody. Right, so you'll have drone coverage? I mean, I can bring the drone. That would be great. Yeah. Actually, no, we did talk about that with Mark before. Because some of that stuff is on private property, but I know how far that's little backed little. up and stuff. We have authorization though now because it's a board of health emergency. Oh, I know, but I mean, just to see it from above, like yeah. how it's spread. I think uh, one of the guys said it is covered a huge, yeah. what have said, like an acre or mm -hmm. yeah. Just for reference, I was driving down there this weekend after mm -hmm. the rainstorm, and mm -hmm. water was like within five feet of roadside in Carmody. And there was houses all along that road that were pumping that, out of their basements. Yeah, and that's not good looking full. water either. No, but brown, you, the, the water table is so high that it, mm -hmm. they, yeah. they were saying it's yep. it's flooded bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, meetings coming up obviously for planning. Senior Center reported last week where we stood with the uh, building committee. We have another meeting scheduled. And town minister report. Oh, um, oh. sorry, yeah. I am meeting with the fiber optic committee tomorrow, and we're going to come up with a date for the next community session before oh. town meeting. Sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, the dangerous dog. I did speak with the ACO today. Mm -hmm. She said to me that the dog is confined mm -hmm. and that there is an appeal to Palmer District Court that's yeah. been filed. Okay. So the first know. appeal was more on process, yes. which they validated. We went right. through the process correctly. Did, yes. And now this next appeal is on merits, yes. basically. Okay. Yeah. That's their uh, right. Does not encourage them to so. go through your rights. Right. Yeah. Okay, you have MVP new grant for two hundred seventy-four thousand uh, is signed, sealed, and returned. Uh, I spent uh, part of my time this week on the motions and updating the warrant on fiber. Um, I think I mentioned to you earlier that uh, I've been in touch with uh, someone who is a key person in this whole area in Massachusetts, and uh, he has. Uh, uh, connected me with uh, the right person at MB MBI and I'm going to try and move ahead with uh, some funding there to subsidize what we're doing. AMDA did host a luncheon mm -hmm. uh, for regional administrators that I thought was very useful and I hope it can continue because just talking about activities in each town, mm -hmm. you find out what they're doing. You don't have to reinvent the wheel yourself. And, and I find them very useful. I found them very useful in Norfolk County when mm -hmm. I was there. I found them very useful in Essex County. Yep. And we should be doing it. To, we should be doing it here. We actually talked about that at the regional selections meeting. And when I was talking to Nick Bro today, I said, "Whatever happened to the idea about the uh, uh, chairs of the boards getting together?" And he said he thought Terry had reached out, but I said, "No, I hadn't heard from her." So no. he was going to bring it up at their meeting tonight. This is something that you know. I think that I think quarterly well. and Don, that would be yeah. you know your gig obviously next yeah. year. Makes a lot but of sense. I think it's nice. I think the chairs yeah. of the boards have different. I don't say viewpoints, but that's kind of the thing than the town administrator managers do, because we're more involved with the residents than you all are. We have a different perception. Heck, you know we see them on a daily basis in town things. So our viewpoint might be different than the, you know, the town minister or the town manager or the town, uh, you know, I think, hired I think selectmen understand the constraints a little bit better than administrators do so in general. I think we get it more. Than, no, no, I'm saying, no, no. They, they have, there's no hesitation, Don, to come up and express to us, right? No, no, right. no, no. no. That's right. Do you get that on occasion? Uh, yeah. Well, you don't shop in town anymore, right? <laughs> that's, why <I> st <laughs> that's why I started wearing that disguise. Why people stop at your house? <laughs> Do they really? Oh. I've had that before, too. People stop at your house and like, oh, oh yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, Cemetery Commission uh, did yep. meet on the 28th. Okay. And yep. uh, 
Let's see. Uh, we're looking at the job description and mm -hmm. operations coordinator situation. And lastly, um, I do have someone who has offered to help reestablish the capital capital improvement committee. Mm -hmm. We've had complaints, <clears throat> and they're not new, that uh, we're doing one-time purchases and capital sometimes ad hoc, mm -hmm. and. I think it would make more sense if we had two kinds of plans to deal with what I call one-time purchases. The big ticket capital items, and there's not much there right now. We know what those projects are, and I don't know that there's a big role for the capital committee. Mm -hmm. However, the one-time purchases that are not quite at the level of capital that would be funded either from free cash or put into the operating budget. Mm -hmm. That kind of list, I think, would be valuable to have, so that we would say to the police chief, All right, put the rifles on the list, put, mm -hmm. put uh, revolvers on the list, if that's what you need. I don't know, we talked about that before, and I think when we had the Capital Committee, you would talk to Thad and, and Dick Patello, you know, they said there had to be a cutoff. You know, you can't be out there, the yeah. mower for the highway department right. shouldn't be a capital thing. It's, right. it's part of the stuff that you yeah. do business, yeah. basically. Oh, well, yeah. you look at the point that, yeah, we bought a dump truck in the spring, $250,000. Yeah. We're buying a fire truck, although technically the money we're, we're spending, but the value of it yeah. is over that threshold, yeah. you know. Well, if we're that's buying another out, thing. I mean, the town. <laughs> oh, sorry. The, the, tractor, tractor, the highway tractor, tractor. clearly. Yeah. The town's been financially. Maybe even the AEDs. AEDs, 25 grand on uh, yeah. AEDs. Yeah. You know? Well, the town's been financially able to buy. Uh, some things that go above. I mean, usually fifty thousand is the capital mm -hmm. cutoff. Mm -hmm. Above fifty right. is considered capital. Yeah. But the town has been fortunate to be able to purchase with cash mm -hmm. some of these items that are well above <coughs> the fifty thousand dollars threshold. Mm -hmm. um, but we ought to have a list. Yeah. What about something as simple as like asset management too? Because there's a lot of little things that don't fall under capital. Yeah. That are not right. tracked. That we could spend capital on that we mm. inadvertently don't know about. And that's, I, it seems to me that eventually you're going to get to some kind of facilities management type mm -hmm. person. And that's certainly one of those responsibilities to know about those assets right. and know about the useful life of those assets mm -hmm. and come up with a list and, and play it out five or ten years or, or, or more. I mean, not to beat a dead horse, but just on the topic of asset management, at the transfer station last week, there was an alarm going off, and we were trying to figure out what it was. It ended up being an old repeater system that nobody had any knowledge of or knew about. Yeah. It's been up there since '99. Mm -hmm. You know, asset management was like, "Whoa, well, who is this? Why is it still here? We could have figured that out." Yeah. Just little, yeah. little things. <laughs> that's before my time. That's the report. <laughs> that's the report. Not connected to anybody, right? No, no, it's not connected to anything. <laughs> It was actually connected to a phone line that wasn't in, in use anymore. <laughs> yeah. Which reminds me. Yeah. Do we have a phone up there? Yes. Yes. Okay. All set. Thank you, Bob. Let's do it, June. Thank you. Don made the motion this week, Warren. Okay. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all. Wow, thank you. I'm not opposed to beating dead horses. It's better than beating alive horses. Did you turn off the recording before you did that? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, 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 it's like, I mean, this guy. <laughs> <laughs>